The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed. It's ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, Me, an advice show for the modern era. I've been reading a Mike Technique book, Ooh. and I'm bringing it in real nice here tonight. Okay. I'm not signed up. I didn't sign Did up for JSMR this morning. Um, yo, they call me Justin Pipes McElroy. <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> what up, McElroy. Trav Nation? It's your boy, Travis McElroy, the Miller's brother, Big Dog, Woof Woof, Trav Nation. And and this is your uh, what's up, Trav Nation. Sorry, I almost forgot to welcome Thank you, you, Trav Nation, to the show. As I'm my Griffin. as my ambassador, it is important uh, that you. I'm just a fan. I'm Griffin Scooter McElroy. Ooh, hey um, guys, I hate this mic stuff you're doing. Yeah, I, we're yeah, not I don't do like it. I, I like it rough and raw and ready. I'm afraid if we sound too. Produced, I don't like the stuff of you saying that. You don't yeah, like it me rough either. And, and I raw. should make it clear: it's because I do tricks on razor scooters. I don't like Scooter Braun. I don't like Scooter Braun. How do you? I'm feel? not sure okay, who he is. I feel like I don't, don't like, like him. him. Isn't strong enough, Griffin? Can you give me yeah, a little more? We vitriol? hate Scooter here. We hate. Scooter I Braun. despise Scooter Braun and I'm to hell. Okay. Um, guys, I've been really frustrated thinking about the time we lost, not talking about Wonka. And time lost is like Wonka lost. Time lost is say. Wonka lost. Yeah. And I and I've been th- I've been trying to make that okay with myself and God and I I am uh trying to catch up on all Wonka promotions. And it is my yeah. goal here with Wonka this motions, show. Please just some Wonka motions. Won- Wonka motions. No. Uh, I'm, it's my goal here to catalog all of these that exist. So if you are in a place where you see a, a Willy Wonka promotion, please, mbmbam at maximumfund.org. I am only one person. So anything yes. you see that is promoting the movie Wonka in a promotional tie-in way – that you think is fun, please pass it along. I'll tell you what I've got right now. For can we you just guys. say? Can we put? Can we put Travis as ambassador? I'm going to, if with Travis's permission, I'm going to sort of re- redirect some of Tra- Trav Nation to become J Dogs Wonka Street Team. Yeah, and maybe uh, what are you willing to give Trav fifty percent? Because that's a huge I'm, amount. I'm of I'm willing to raise the Wonka level to orange. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. so, and Trav Nation knows exactly what that means. Um, so yeah. mobilize street team. Uh, you're all Wonka Wonks now, which yep. okay. I know that that word and doesn't mean calling. it, but it, it feels bad to say. No. I hate yeah. saying that word. The, uh, I'm going to play for, for y'all just so you can see the first thing. And this is sort of the biggest, like if you're talking about what are people, what are people talking about? What are they, mm-hmm. you know? Getting yeah. getting excited for is is this is the first one. Let me just let you guys get the audio here. Okay. Let's IHOP see. and Wonka are dreaming up a magical new menu. Magnificently mouth-watering items like Wonka's perfectly purple pancakes, the fantastical Wonka burger, <laughs> and of course, hover chalk pancake tacos. Every good thing in this world started with a dream. And now this one is a reality. Only at IHOP. Try the new Wonka menu for a limited time. Kids eat free from 4 to 10 p.m. It's almost an afterthought, which is so frustrating. It's almost an afterthought of, oh, and see Wonka while you're at it. And yeah, hey, like, while you're while you're at IHOP, kids eat free 4 to 10. I am so glad that they were able to get Jimothy Chalamet for this one. Uh, Jim, Jimothy Balachet uh, is uh, on the ones and twos for this one. How do you, how do you audition that? 
We are uh, looking yeah. for Timothy Chalamet. If you or, are out there, this is a Timothy Chalamet alike, right? This is yeah. A, yeah. Oh this, yeah, this Justin. Is, this he's, is t- he's Chalamet Timothy bounding. Chalamet. Is what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> it's a page. Timothy Chalamet. Now here's yeah. the thing. I would fuck up those tacos, right? Sure, the sure, pancake sure. tacos looks great. But I'm sitting here in a purple shirt with purple glasses and purple hair. Something should not be purple. Yeah. Those pancakes do not look at all appetizing. They look like Play-Doh shit my kids would make. Yeah, yeah and so I know something shouldn't be purple, and that includes my stool. Yes, and when yes. I eat these, when I eat a huge stack of these dyed purple pancakes, the my toilet is going to become sentient afterwards and be like, hey man, I've gone ahead and called the hospital. You need to go there as soon as you possibly can. I would also like to say, I hop just for the record, some bad things start from a dream too. So yeah, like, man. you can't just be like, I had it in a dream, so it must be good. That's yeah. not inherently true. Slender Man came from dreams, I think. So like yeah. Freddy Krueger, come on, man. Yeah. They are Baba going s- they are going so hard on that. What I enjoy about the commercial is the frequency with which they say, and of course. <laughs> or or as you may have guessed, as you may have guessed, we're including hover chalk pancake tacos. The yeah. famous creation of the chocolatier Willy Wonka, his the, perfectly purple pancakes. The burger was just kind of a burger though, huh? With some yeah. free say No, is, this is t- no simple burger, Griffin. It's the fantastical Wonka burger. Now nah, it looks it's sort beef of like- steak burger with lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, four cheese, blend, avocado, two strips, of bacon, fried hash browns, IOP sauce, and a ranch drizzle on a brioche. Okay, bun. that's now, that's a ton of shit. I that take is it back. A ton, That's a ton of, shit. of shit. But I'm going to hold on. I'm going to make you embarrassed of your words and deeds here. Let me give you a quick still of the fantastical Wonka burger so you can be aware what a fucking clown you are. Look at that thing. That thing's so ah! big. It's so That's a salad on buns. I'm it not. Is. I'm. I, it's been a while since I've seen any of the previous 16 Wonka movies. But yeah. I don't remember a scene where he was like, this is the Chocolate River. Here's the fizzy lifting drink. There's my grill. That's where I grill the burgers. It's my big fucking <laughs> yeah, burger. Did you see grill. that shit? Did you see how many vegetables they got on that shit? I'm not just candy, dudes. Okay. I'm multifaceted. Uh, real quick, other stuff. Trav, there is uh, an official Wonk of the Movie Mad Libs. Uh, I'm telling you that now just so you know that it is headed to your house in case you saw it today. I, it is already Excellent. in the mail. Going to be at your home very soon, so that is a possibility. Justin, as uh, long as we're letting each other know, I've also shipped Timothy Chalamet to you. Uh, oh, so good! Please, as soon as that, I forgot to poke holes in it. So as soon as it gets there, please open it right away. I feel terrible. You forgot okay. to poke holes in Timothy Chalamet? Yeah. Okay. If I ask you guys, if your kids come to you guys after the ad and they say, "Do they really make Wonka candies?" Wait, sorry, Justin, Are there time really? out. What you mean is they've handed a note to my butler, and my butler has brought it to me because my kids <laughs> right, are not, they don't address me directly. <laughs> right. Right. When he, next time you see the captain, would you please ask him? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you don't think I'm busy running Trav Nation? I don't yeah, have time when, for my kids. When <laughs> Travis wants to talk to his kids, he blows his special whistle, his special little penny slide whistle. Uh-huh. In the sequence, they each, t- have, a, they each different... have a little theme that he plays when it's yeah. time. What would you tell your kids if they're like, "What are there real Wonka candies?" What would you say right now? Don't look. Just I, I would say, yeah, but they're pretty much just candy. Well, there used to be everlasting Gobstopper. I don't think they make the Gobstopper candy anymore, but I think you can buy Wonka bars. But it doesn't. But that's the thing. Yeah, those are just tiny little jawbreakers. I love a uh, IRL Gobstopper. It's a it's it's a sh- right. sugary uh, delectable treat. It does not look like that delightful galaxy of uh, flavored spheres yeah. that is present in the the original uh, Gene uh, uh, Wilder film. I almost said Gene Shallot. He <laughs> loves it though. That would be he cool. did love he stand um I yeah so this Wonka movie is pretty a- sweet and that was Gene <laughs> Shallot. so Wonka was a candy brand that was created by Quaker as part of their co-funding the movie with with Gene in it mm-hmm. they were co-partners yeah. on the movie because they were going to do Wonka candies but Wonka got bought by Nestle and then it was like everlasting gobstoppers Wonka bars um. Spree were under the Wonka name, you know, bottle yeah. caps were Wonka I feel like, candy, like Ner- nerds, were, nerds yeah. were Wonka. There's no Wonka, Nestle sold it, there's no Wonka candies, hmm. except for one. 
They sold it to a candy called Ferrer, Ferrera, who yeah. owned oh, that part of the deal was they get Wonka.com. So you are gonna oh, see cool. now what they are doing with Wonka.com. You're gonna freak out when you see this incredible line of candies. What? Magic hat gummies. It's just the one, it seems like. <laughs> it's just this. Discover new Wonka magic hat gummies, a universe of timeless candies and magical experience for unexpected sweet delights. Taste the magic of Willy Wonka's delicious, deliciously magical world. There's one thing. That's not a one universe. thing. It's a hat. It's got goo. <laughs> it's got goo in it, and it says it's on the package. It. it says on the package turns your tongue blue. Yeah, that's not a selling point to any person. I feel like. <laughs> and now, Trav, there is a big contest called Dream It and Do It. Yeah, now, Justin, have... that's what I was caught up in right there. Yeah, so I want you to read the three steps for how to enter right there. Do that. Read it out loud for me, please. Buy what any pack. Upload okay. your recipe. Win magical prizes. Okay, guys. What does any of that mean, <laughs> guys? <laughs> I don't, there's no recipe. I don't know what they mean. There's, yeah, there's no, <laughs> there's no prompt. <laughs> Wait, there's and if you no want to know, if you want more details on the magical prizes, those are provided below. These are the things that uh, automatically receive $5 in movie rewards, plus the chance to win a Warner Brothers studio tour. Sick. A premium Wonka briefcase filled with candy. Ooh. And then other magical prizes. We will think of it later. We will Guys, come back. It's supposed to say receipt. Receipt, yes. It's supposed to I say receipt, to... <laughs> and it says recipe. <laughs> I like I like it better, though, this idea of like, let me eat these fucking gummy hats filled with blue jizz. <laughs> I, nom, nom, yummy, yummy, good. I think it's sucrose. Sucrose? High sucrose fructose corn syrup. Oh. Yeah, that's, oh, so we're guessing the rest. <laughs> red 31. This is red 31 for sure. I know this flavor. I thought anywhere. it was going to be like, so here's what I did. I, I was about to roast my chicken, but then first I kind of lifted the skin off the meat, shoved a bunch of these magic cat gummies in there, and I said, fuck it, let's see what happens. It was that's bad. Awesome. Um, is the answer. It was not good. It made my children vomit. All right. The, uh, the other Wonka promotion, the last one that I I did want to mention to you guys, there's a big contest. There's a big contest on Instagram for all your uh, your premium Wonka needs. Also on the candy, by the way, it just says, see the new movie. <laughs> there's no <laughs> logo or anything. It's just well, like, that hey, makes we know it, about Justin, it. Then it's evergreen. As they keep making more Wonka movies, and they can yeah. just keep using the same design. Oh, uh, okay. So let me share this tab with you. This is the last thing. This is the, the, the contest they're doing. Um, I do have to show you, Griffin. Look at this sick Wonka Xbox. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Look at that Wonka box. That does look I mean, tight. a Wonka box with a chocolate wrap control. So this is a contest. The Wonka Pure Imagination Contest. Show off your wild and wonderfully Wonka-inspired art, fashion, style, decor, food, gaming. The impossibilities are endless. Submit Fuck a video off. less than 60 seconds on Instagram using hashtag Wonka Pure Imagination Contest to enter. See official rules for full details and weekly pricing. You must be following at Wonka Movie on Instagram. Um, now it says here, I like this. You must not include music unless it is the official Pure Imagination track from Wonka, or it is an original song performed and written solely by Entrant. Those are two profoundly different options. Those are two different briefs you've given me right now. I can use the famous song. Pure imagination. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, if this Shalmay is the, this is pure imagination from Wonka. They got Wonka. fucking Tyler the Creator on this one. It's a it's a it's a whole crew. So you can use that song, or you can absolutely flip your shit and write your own <laughs> Wonka. <laughs> write your own Wonka song. Just go, just go wild. You got sixty seconds to do whatever you want. Which one of our TikToks are we going to submit? Which one of our videos are we submitting for consideration? There's no reason we can't win. I don't have an You're uncle right. at Wonka. No. That's true. Uh, we have so many videos. Um, probably one where we talk about Wonka, if I were to guess. Probably. Oh, he's a candy man. He's a chocolate king. He's a candy man. He's a chocolate king. Everybody look out. Don't scream and don't shout. It's Wonka, the chocolate machine. He's a man who loves to stand for his candy. 
you guys want to do any part of the song? Well, it's hard with the lag juice. I didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, but you can like do a verse if you want to spit a verse. I would love if you came in with a rap break, Griffin. That would be. <laughs> Oh, sure, really sure. Sorry, sure. Justin, you weren't already doing the rap break. I thought that's that what that did was. That sound like the rap break. Um, spit a few, great, Griffin, spit a few chocolate bars. Okay, okay. Yummy fucking sweets. Creamy, creamy, sweet. Gonna creep my feet. Gonna cream my feet. Fucking, fucking sweet. Yummy fucking treats. Gonna cream my feet. Sweet, yummy feet. Gonna cream a treat. Creamy, creamy, cream. Sweet, yummy feet. Creamy, treat, free. Free, sweet, treat. Creamy, creamy, cream. Sweepy, chewy, treat. Screepy, creepy, cream. It's done. You gotta stop. <laughs> yeah, so just use that. Just submit that. If you, Tom, was that 60 just... seconds? Because I can do that tighter. No, it was <laughs> tight. Because I think we'll just cut away. I think we'll just just cut stop away. in the middle of it. So it'll be like screamy, creepy. Tr- That's okay. Yeah. That's fine. They'll get it. They'll, they'll like, get it. They'll understand. They'll get it. This is an, this is an, so if you see any other stuff, please let yeah, me know. Yeah, let us know. This is an advice show. We take your questions and turn them out like into wisdom. So the warehouse I work at recently got a new pinball machine. And the first Sick. day it went up, I got a high score of 300,000. Represent. Nice. But that the issue good. is that today I came in and the other workers here are calling the other Amy pinball Amy because they think she got the high score. Oh, God. Brothers, I want to get the recognition for being great at pinball, but I don't want to take this away from pinball Amy. That's from Pinball Problems in Pennsylvania, and it fucking sickens me that you did not sign that. Pinball Amy, because yeah, that's you, you. You've given up. Hey, can I just say, hearing you say it out loud, is this saying that other Amy, NPA, non-Pinball Amy, the first time yeah. someone's like, hey, Pinball Amy, Amy just went with it. It's like, yeah, I'm yeah. Pinball Amy. That's what it sounds like. Um, That's the problem, guys. You got to deal with stolen this stolen valor. <laughs> this is why you have to live your life honestly, unwritten. Yes. Feel the rain on your skin. You have to live it honestly because now it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> you know, because you didn't Took act honestly in the moment. Now it's weird. Mm-hmm. There's definitely going to be a moment where pinball Amy and non pinball Amy are like the only two in the break room, and pinball Amy is going to have to be like, so, um, do you want to talk about it? Do we? <laughs> hey, so you know it's not you. You know, I, is it, hey, is pinball it, off right now, pinball wizard. Let's yeah, that's it. what oh, I'm saying. No. Every, a monthly pinball off, I think, to just see who gets the who gets the name, who gets the title. No, By the way, pinball liar. Amy, pinball Amy is not. That's first idea. I yeah. feel like we could have done a much better name. First thought, best thought, as they always say, this terrible doppelganger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think pinball Amy is great, and too much power has been applied to it now, and I think it is the permanent option um i think that this you should maybe feel sad for this fraudster yeah mm-hmm. this this sin ball amy if you will Ooh. because she did not have enough going on in her life yeah. to say no i'm not the pinball person that's not me i didn't do the pinball it they, does kind of sound like from the question the question asker thinks that maybe pinball shamey needs this yeah better sin ball shamey <laughs> Pinball Shamey needs this. And it's like, I don't want to take this away from the other. I have a lot going on in my life. I was already cool forklift trick, Amy, where I could yeah. do this thing where I kind of spin it on one wheel while balancing a bot. And I, listen, I've already got forklift Amy going for me. And Simball Shamey needs this a little bit more than I do. Yeah, maybe she doesn't have a brand yet. That's powerful. Yeah. That's nice to let someone up. But like, it's, I think the pinball off is the, is the, uh, is the play. I want to be pinball Amy for a while. Can we play for it? And mm. you may be this. Probably, this person maybe has the yips a little bit that that three hundred was like flow state. Oh yeah, instant. we've been there. Yeah, that's you know an what entirely I mean? you can't possible. Get back this there. is this is a pure and please don't quote that story about the guy who did a court battle to win pinball. This is a game of chance. It's a ball rolling on. It's chaos theory. So you anything could happen in this. Roger showdown. Sharp, I, by the way, you've. We need to move on okay. from pinball. You can't be pinball, Amy. It's weird you didn't say anything, and you probably won't be able to beat that high score ever. And ever now again. you don't have the pressure on you. Who's got the pressure right. on them? Sinball, Shamey. With her like, Sin- Sinball, do it again. Let me see yeah. it again. You're I've fine. You're free, Shamey. You know that you're pinball, Amy, and that this person is Sin Skull, Shamey. But what you can do is buy a Dance Dance Revolution machine, and then you can be fucking DDR, Amy, 
if the naming convention continues. Do you hey, mean, extend it out. Just keep adding more arcade me? machines <laughs> to the warehouse, and eventually yeah. your arcade, <laughs> arcade Amy, who now hey. owns an arcade within the warehouse yeah. you work at. I'm Dedramey. Come play me in DDR. <laughs> come come battle Dedramey. Uh, Ramey, I need you to come to my office, please. <laughs> You, you need to fired. stop buying arcade machines. Why did you buy that car? Jurassic Park game where you sit in the truck and, I guess, shoot dinosaurs? Shoot hundreds yeah, you shoot and hundreds kill. of dinosaurs. Yeah. Shoot to kill dinosaurs. It's great. Um, you can get a lightning hey, can, gun. <laughs> did you get a claw machine and put Simball Shamey's keys in it? That was not cool, <laughs> Dreamy. Not cool at all. Did um, Jeremy, did you clean out all the tampons from Simball Shamey's purse? <laughs> put them in the claw machine? That's fucking, that's fucking so twisted. Um... Hey, can we approach the wizard? Yeah, please. I'd love that. Great. Siobhan sent this in. Thanks, Siobhan. Uh, it's a WikiHow article. WikiHow article. This one has 125,000 views on it. What? Which I guess for the internet is not a lot. It has seven co-authors. A lot of cooks up in the kitchen. And they are going to teach us all how to talk posh. The posh accent is used to describe how the upper class in England speak. But while it is associated with the upper class, the posh dialect has been embraced by members of the middle class in England and elsewhere, including the United States. I'm pretty posh, I would say. I'm a posh gentleman. Well, well I speak with this posh British accent all the time. <laughs> right, yeah. Let's maybe dive into some of the details on what qualifies as a posh British accent before you say something like that. Because I don't know that you, part one, incorporate posh words into your vocabulary. Posh slang. Like, golly gosh, old bean, poppycock, pop, poppycock, capital, or skive. I don't know that skiv. one. Skive? Skive. 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 You've I've definitely heard me say some of those words before, right? I've yeah. heard you say capital, but in reference to cities. I've never heard you yeah. shout it after eating, you know, uh some sort of old timey old beans beans yeah I don't old know. beans skivvy <laughs> yeah Is that that's right? good juice juice is doing good so Damn far it. yeah embrace posh saying phrases and sayings uh one of the hallmarks of the posh dialect are the colorful phrases and sayings associated with it um don't get your knickers in a twist oh, Jolly well, good like show Mm. Throw a spanner in the works. That one doesn't oh. feel posh to me. Don't do that one. Jolly Good no. Show is fucking great. I Jolly Good I Show say, always rules. I wish I could say any of these things without getting sounding like the world's biggest oh. douchebag. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You can't. I wish I could casually drop a Jolly Good, sh Jolly Good Show. There's you no could, way to no. You did that. Hey, Griffin, you just nailed the delivery on that. Yeah. Do not sell your Jolly show short. Good. If Jolly I, Good Show. If we were playing show. like Jolly Good Show. If we were playing a game of bagos and I got uh, a hole in one or whatever you call it with nothing but net, just a clean hole, and you said, yeah. "Oh, Travis, Jolly Good Show," I would uh, be chuffed. Right, but that's you. You understand that you're not the baseline type of person who I would bounce this type of stuff off of, right? Right. Wait, if not me, who are you bouncing off? Who do you feel safer with than me to practice your posh turns of phrase? I'm That's saying true. you're going to, Travis, happen. I'm saying you're going to green light some shit <laughs> that is not going to be <laughs> oh, I adored see. I'm by not the a child. reliable test subject, is what you're not saying. Not at right? all, Travis. Not at all. You are a, you are a yes man focus group for... Some of my worst creative and personal impulses. I, Who may be, you, I would say uh, incentivized to watch you sort of fall right on your ass. Right. Like, it, so it, to it answer is, your whoa, question, hey, Travis, do it, not, it, it, do not, you dare, how dare you infer any kind of malice in my supportive nature of Griffin's endeavors. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's not true. But it doesn't change the fact that, Travis, to answer your question of if not you, uh, maybe anyone else on the planet, I... Maybe any other living human being but you. Um, Listen, I'm, you I'm a positive guy, and I believe in you, Griffin, and I'm sorry that maybe some other haters on this show don't support you the way that I do, but yeah, I yeah, believe yeah. in you. You can do as it. A, as, a, as a Travis, as, my, as the wind beneath my wings, that's great. I'm just not going to let you pilot the bird. Do you know what I mean? I'm, do you Barely. Know what I mean? Sort of. I yeah, sort yeah. of know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, use some words that might seem formal or out of date. So far, these first three things are the same fucking thing. Yeah. Keep your grades up. And Improve your, your grades. grades Study hard. Um, okay. Some of the words they include here are seedy, rubbish, and Fortnite. I'm already saying yeah. that all the fucking time. Yeah, I talk about I, Fortnite constantly. I would scratch yeah. that third one actually off. 
Um, just for, I think it's been stolen. Co-opted. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so let's get into pronouncing words. And this is something that could be interactive for all of us. Okay. Uh, say an an like an eh sound. Posh speakers will substitute. Oh, they've done a typo here. Posh speakers will substitute ah sounds for eh. They'll do this in a variety of words. For example, pronounce thank as thank, thank. Thank, thank. Pronounce. I don't think that's this, true. <laughs> pronounce man as men. That's a different word. You've changed the word pretty dramatically there. Pronounce angry as angry. 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 Ingram. <laughs> donkey. Angry. Ingrams. <laughs> Thank you, donkey. Angry. Oh, you're the men, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> you mean thinky? Oh, Dicker, jolly good show, don't you? Dicker, my Ingrams. <laughs> Get me a heroic. <laughs> Cameron Diz. Diz is. Cameron Diz. Come, come on, I didn't Jesus. Dicker, my Ingrams. <laughs> Give me the loot. <laughs> Do the star chart, don't you? The, the, the five my... steps foreman. It's not my big donkey. <laughs> Me weave. Unlistenable. <laughs> pronounce the E at the end of some words as an E. Eh. When pronouncing the final E word sound in a word, such as the E in picky, articulate the sound like an E. Eh. Big E. I don't think this is right. Big E. <laughs> big E. <laughs> quickly should sound more like quickly. Quicker. Sorry should sound more like sorry. Sorry Barley should sound more like barley. Buddy. Wait, barley? <laughs> what? Barley? Take me out of sound like barley. I it never comes say up in posh society a lot. I Justin. guess. Would you like some steamed barley? Um, lengthen the ooh sound in some words. They don't say how much. Oh, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. They do. New should have a longer ooh. Extend the sound new. by. Extend the sound by a second. A That's second? Really... So instead of new, second. it would be new. That was, yeah, that's going to get on, if you are talking about a thing that has a lot of ooh sounds in it, um, if you're talking about They have a school, new kangaroo at the zoo. At, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be rough to sit through. I'm going to need a snack to make it through that sentence. Um, do not, do not. Enunciate, enunciate the W in words that end in were. Uh, people who speak posh tend to gloss over the wuh sound in certain words. To the average listener, it sounds as if a posh talker is not even pronouncing the wuh. For example, shower may be pronounced shar. Power may be pronounced par. This is a bit. <laughs> are the seven authors of this like Brits who are like, hey guys, we're gonna get them. Because this gonna is- fucking razz these None guys. of this is true. Flower is pronounced flar. What a, what a <laughs> our, our posh, does the author of this think that the posh people were the ones in steerage on the Titanic? <laughs> I'm very confused by some of these choices. Yeah, this is- uh, Not shower, but sha. Shower. <laughs> I don't think that's it, guys. Um, lengthen vowels at the end of a sentence. So it doesn't, I guess they could have just said this instead of specifically saying- the thing about O's and E's. Yeah, they could have just said vowels in general. So, oh, really would be, oh, really? I am doing absolutely fabulous would be, and I'm going to do my best with this one, guys. I am doing absolutely fabulous. And they've, there's five hyphens in that word to show you where the emphasis is, which is super helpful. So for my How new posh did I just sound? How fucking sounded, fancy? Hey, right? how posh am I? Um for my new movie, uh, Wonka, I tried something new, and I'm going to do, I decided that I would do kind of a posh voice for Willie. Mm -hmm. So rather than bring me my chocolate, Hugh Grant, it's more like, bring me my chocolate, Hugh Grant. Wait, he has a chocolate, Hugh Grant? No, <laughs> Hugh Grant brings it the chocolate. Oh, um, well, I need to nibble I, um, on his I can't modes. help but notice that you're uh, eating my arms and legs. Uh, <laughs> I, I... <laughs> oh, oh you're, you're eating my beautiful blue eyes right out of the sockets. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. None of us are willing to commit to a Hugh Grant voice. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> I tried. 
me and Justin both were like, hell yeah, baby. Time to do my Hugh Grant. And then we stepped foot into the pool and we were like, oh, I don't know how to this swim is... in these waters. <laughs> oh, we were on. keeping, you which, Griffin, I think we were keeping plausible deniability. <laughs> like, I thought that I wasn't like, doing a Hugh Grant. At a later time, we could, in a court of law, we could insist that, that was not a Hugh Grant impression. Yeah. Travis, did you want to do one? I'm sorry, we stepped all I over your grant. But now, but here, look, the same thing happened to Travis where he started to do one, but then we talked over him and he stopped. I bet you don't want to, I bet you feel less confident now in your Hugh Hold Grant. On, let me close my eyes. Let me get myself in a place where I pretend like nothing else you exists. Can't think of, you can't think on Hugh Grant. You gotta sneak up on yeah. him. Yeah. Okay. That's true in life as sneak well. Sneak up on that. He yeah. has constantly got his head on a swivel. If you want to cast your Hugh Grant, you it does seem coming. like if I walked into a room where Hugh Grant oh, was. Uh, you seem to be eating my arms and legs. Um, this is. That's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's better than mine and committed. for sure. I'd rather Thank fail you. big. I'm committed, you know? if nothing else. Um, watch movies and television shows. One of the easiest ways to pick up the posh dialect is to listen to how it's spoken in movies and TV. They oh, yeah. People it. love when you do that. Casablanca. Bridget Jones' Diary. Casablanca. 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 Wait, did they really say Casablanca? You know how posh Casablanca is? What if you take the absolutely wrong thing and you're like, yeah, sweetheart, I'm really posh. (laughs) I'm a posh guy. (laughs) I have never seen Casablanca, and it's too late for me to do it now, I feel like. Um, Based on what? The fact that I'm 36 years old and I can still now see Casablanca. No, it's just that it's something that hits. my defense, though, is that it seems wicked fucking boring. Everything I've ever seen from no, it. No, there's a space so battle boring. in there. Elect- uh, they elect- never show Griffin? that, but the space battle against the giant lizard spiders is incredible. Just the name Humphrey Bogart. It's not something I want to be associated You're with. You're on that the wrong a- side of this. One. I'm so worried about oh, you. I know how many Ooh. times you finished the remake of Resident Evil 4. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what's fucking with me right now. A posh game, if you ask me. Ashley! <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil! Resident <laughs> Evil! Mr. of Unlocking! <laughs> All right. So watch movies and television shows. Casablanca, Bridget Jones' Diary, Made in Chelsea. Uh, we can toss some more on here. Johnny English. Perfect. Uh, one and two. The uh, only way is Essex. Man vs. B. Man vs. Uh, B Mr. is a Bean. huge one. Mr. Bean, uh, Love Actually is actually a pretty good answer. There's a lot of different. Okay, not that one. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Huge. Um, Fight Club. Yep. That one just kicks ass. That That's one's just a good help. one. That, that, one, that one's not going to help you with this, but it kicks a kick-ass fucking flip. I think my favorite um, thing, um, no, just to jump in real quick, my favorite thing about Fight Club is how there's no subtext or satire or irony whatsoever. Just dudes fucking Complete fighting. I know. sincerity. Love dudes fucking fighting. shit up. Fighting. Yeah. It's cool. Straight it's cool. forward. Um, hang around others who talk posh. Anyone who tries to learn a foreign language knows that the best way to learn is to surround yourself with people who speak that language. That's not what this is. That isn't what this is. This is hey, a we've done a thing. lot of ads for people who will teach you foreign language. It's never like, oh, you can learn around. German or Spanish or sound like somebody who's trying to sound posh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, what if practice, a posh, why, this is the problem. For me to hang out with posh people, posh people have to want to hang out with me. And I yeah. sound like a fucking maroon. I sound like yeah. an absolute dork. <laughs> no, the, one of the hallmarks of being posh, Justin, is having very large ducks in your walls. You can hang out in the ductwork for hours around posh people, and they'll never know. That, Travis, yeah. thank you. Again, your wisdom is a balm to a weary soul. Of course I will hide in the walls of a posh yeah. person's house. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear something from the ceiling? I How have f- heavy breathing coming from the air conditioning, Ben. How fucking cool would it be? if if? Do you guys remember, this is like eight years ago, when everybody, I think Jesse Thorne was the first person, and then everybody got into Downton Abbey. Remember that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We all have, yeah, yeah. What if like a couple months into that, you started seeing stuff on Reddit that was like, you guys are going to think I'm fucking with you, but if you look at these shots, there are clearly there is clearly a person in the walls of this house. Like, if you look, look here, you can actually see look. he comes out of the duct. That Lord Lord uh, Millicent Crawley is talking to the 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 foot butler, and you can see he skitters. He comes out of the vent. Yeah. And you can see him skitter across the ceiling. Wait, no, pause it, pause it. See right there, you see a hand taking the cookie, right? Who took the cookie? Who's, There's who's no one else in the there? room. 
It, it, there's no one else in the room. It's the the Duch- the Duchess of Yorkshire uh-huh. and his elegant lordship. Alistair Plain, and there's no one else in the room. Who took the cookie? Who took it's the, the cookie, the guys? <laughs> if you look in Lord Grantham's chair, someone has been embroidered into it so that Lord <laughs> Grantham sits in his lap every time that he sits down. I swear to God, look at the outlines. Look at the shadows. And every so often they'll just say, oh, that was Douglas. But they, but who's Douglas? Do Have they you know? Noticed they frequently will say, quiet, he's listening. And yes. there's mm-hmm. three minutes of silence in the show. Yeah. That's about the kid in the walls. Yeah. The kid in the wall of Down the Abbey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, Griff, how else can we sound polished? That's it. That's a lot. That's that it. was the last. It practiced a lot. Uh, that was great. Let's uh, let's take a break, uh, and uh, we're going to head on over to the money zone, and then we'll be right back with you right after this. This break. The money zone. Is that a... Is that a... Squarespace is a website that is good. You can uh, make other websites using them. They have lots of tools. Wait, hold on, Griffin. It's a yes. website that makes websites? It's yes. the progenitor site. Yes. It was what? the first website, and lots of people got on there. Um, I just watched The Social Network the other day, so I know a lot about this computer stuff. Squarespace was first in the, in the game, made all the other websites, so you're welcome for all of them. Some uh, of them. Club Penguin? Maybe, I don't know. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand, though, and growing your business online. If Squarespace made all the websites, I have some notes. That's fair. Okay, they only made the ones that Squarespace Squarespace made. Squarespace. 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 He's the man, he's fucking money. They have Squarespace. Squarespace. Do you guys know the story about that? Where they're filming that scene, and Matt Damon's, like, sitting there, and it's like, this accent, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, in between takes, John Malkovich just leans forward to him and goes, my secret is, I'm not a very good actor. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about Teddy KGB from Rounders. There's no reason for us to be, except the fact that we're middle-aged white men. There's yes. no reason for us to be talking Square about Squarespace, I'll tell you what, bud. I'm going to give you the first part of that on the house, because I feel compelled <laughs> to just do this whole thing fucking over again. Squarespace is great. <laughs> We've used it so many times to make so many excellent websites. It's got what all- sucks is that Squarespace is great. They're it is great. great. Yeah. They, they, we've told you how great they are so many times. Yeah. And that we can we have talk about fun. shit like this and they let us keep doing ads. That's how yeah, great they're they are. Great. Keep- they're great. Uh, they got a fluid engine. It's the next generation website design system. Makes it so easy to just make a website that looks great with drag and drop technology. No problem. Drag and you- drops? They got dragon drops. They've got fairy bombs and uh, all all these wonderful magical Uppers, confections. downers, <laughs> whatever you need. Squarespace has you. They're the candy man. Sell your products, your dragon balls. Over. Sell your organs. <laughs> sell your dragon balls on an online store. Whether you sell physical or digital dragon balls, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. Squarespace is now dark web enabled. <laughs> dark web enabled. <laughs> Listen, Sell your dragon seen balls. the way things are going, and they flip the switch. Sell your dragon balls to the monkey man on the dark web with Squarespace. <laughs> he will the get monkey his... king needs your dragon the balls. The monkey king needs all the dragon balls to do his tubular wish on Squarespace. The kaiju are coming. They're coming so fast. <laughs> Go to squarespace.com slash mybrother for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use offer code mybrother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Do you are you all done with your your shopping your your holiday shopping? Yeah, man. For Wait, sure. are you asking me? Definitely, I'm asking both of you. Are you done? Yeah, I'm man. Make... It's November 28th. You know, it's all in the bag. <laughs> it's all in the bag. No, but listen, don't even worry about that. That's not oh, a problem because yeah, because Aura Frames is there to uh, be uh, the perfect gift. Whether you're an early, you know, uh, you you know, you finish early like Griffin, or you're late and you can't Whoa. finish like hey, Travis. Hold on. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, hold on. No matter how you finish your holiday shopping, you can start. I can it. finish. Link, listen. I don't want to brag, <laughs> Justin. I know. If there's one to... thing I'm proud of, it's that I can finish. Well, Travis I finish super late. I sometimes finish after Christmas. With the power so... of auraframes.com slash my brother, Travis, you could finish right here in front of us huh. and we would be none the wiser. You can get thirty dollars off their best selling frames. These are with that with that link I just gave you. They're digital frames, right? You set it up as a gift for somebody else, and then once it's set up in their house and on their Wi Fi, which you can do, it's super duper easy. It's not like other 
text stuff you may have used. I've personally done it several times. It's it's no biggie. Uh, and once you do, you can just wirelessly send pictures after you take them. You send them to, to, to grandma or whoever, and you can uh, have it appear on their frame almost instantly. Imagine that. You're out on a trip with the kids. You take an adorable picture, and then you send the picture right to grandma's frame. She's going to love it, and you will love it, too, because it's a gift you can feel good about, and it That's is That's also a so way, like, if you feel like you're about to get kidnapped or something, and you want to send proof of it to grandma, or if you're like, grandma, if you don't hear from me in three days, send this right to the police. You can do that straight yeah. to your Aura Frames. Yeah, right Aura Frames it. is perfect for that, too. Visit AuraFrames.com com slash my brother today get thirty dollars off their best selling frames these frames sell out quickly though so get yours before they're gone that's a u r a frames.com slash my brother use promo code my brother to get thirty dollars off their best selling frame terms and conditions apply hello sleepyheads sleeping with celebrities is your podcast pillow pal we talk to remarkable people about unremarkable topics all to help you slow down your brain and drift off to sleep. For instance, we have the remarkable Neil Gaiman. I'd always had a vague interest in live culture, food preparation. Sleeping with Celebrities, hosted by me, John Moe, on MaximumFun.org or wherever you get your podcasts. Night-night. Somewhere. In an alternate universe where Hollywood is smarter. And the Emmy nominees for Outstanding Comedy Series are Jet Pacula, Airport Marriott, Thruple, Dear America, We've Seen You Naked, and Allah in the Family. In our stupid universe, you can't see any of these shows, but you can listen to them on Dead Pilot Society, the podcast that brings you hilarious comedy pilots that the networks and streamers bought but never made. Journey to the alternate television universe of Dead Pilot Society on MaximumFun.org. I work as a data engineer within a small but fairly new team. We recently finished a major project and, as a team, are going out for a celebratory meal and drinks at a steak restaurant. Issue is, I'm a vegetarian, and most of my team, who I rarely see in person, don't don't know this. The table is already booked, and outside of a simple salad, the restaurant does not do vegetarian dishes. Normally, this wouldn't be an issue. I'd bite the bullet and force down a steak so that I don't make anyone feel bad for accidentally excluding me. However... One other person going might know I'm a vegetarian, and I don't know if I can trust him not to ruin the vibe by bringing it up. Brothers, how do I get through this evening without making people feel bad? Any way to do it without eating meat? That's from Imperiled Across the Pond. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Listen, here's the thing. They don't you know. I know these th- questions. It makes you feel like a cheater sometimes. No, no, no. You always have one- such smart things to say. Once yeah. in every 689 episodes, I'd like to actually help someone. Okay, with like okay. an actual, actionable oh answer. Let's see. Two words by call ahead. You're gonna call the restaurant. You're gonna say, hey, I'm coming in. Uh, we have a reservation for this night. I'm a vegetarian. Is there any way that you can accommodate that? And if they're like, hey, I'm not able to, then you say, okay, would it be all right if I brought in food for myself? No. And you can serve it. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. No, 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 okay, no, 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 You were on such a hot streak you there for a second. You were doing so good. Until so you suggested good. suggested they bring a fucking Tupperware full of baby carrots and ranch dip. You cannot, Travis. You cannot. You can't. This person's saying, I want to seem normal. Please... Please, brothers, help me seem normal. Is there and any way we can pretend I didn't say the second half of the thing I said? No, Trav. That, hold, damn on, it. Now, hold on, Griffin. Don't rush into judgment, okay? You may need this service later. <laughs> don't just immediately dismiss Travis's request for That's clemency. I don't want right. to undo the good suggestion yeah. with my- You were so worked up about it. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to. I'm blow, just saying that, that if I was like, hey, I brought in some delicious veggie risotto, could you please bring it out to me with everybody else and tell me what a good boy I am for ordering it off the menu? Then. Travis, there is no, okay, wait, stop it. I need to clarify what you are <laughs> suggesting because it has gone from bad to a calamitous in a way that I'm I've not sure. No, with. that suggestion no, no you, longer you, exists. You're actually you not allowed. It. No, you had Travis, a talking the first portion. one is, the first one's also <laughs> having some issues now. You circled back around it in a way that is extremely troubling. So let me, you are suggesting not that you bring in your own Tupperware of veggie risotto. You are saying that 
as you come in, you have it underneath your coat, and then you pass it off to the chef. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, you talk, you then get a hold of the waiter, and you say, now listen, I'm going to stone-faced order veggie risotto, and I need you to just bring it, no questions asked. And here's the second part. If anyone else is like, ooh, that sounds good, I'll have that. There is not enough. They just order the last... We got an 86 the risotto. Yeah. Sorry, guys, we just 86 our We got our a special menu. tonight. It's one order of risotto for that guy. <laughs> it's an off menu veggie risotto. That's the other issue. Is one of your coworkers will be like, huh, that's weird. I want to see veggie risotto on my menu. You're gonna have to grab the menu out of your hands and be like, huh, let me see it real quick. <laughs> yeah, it says right here. But it says, oh, only one serving per night, order fast. Yeah, it says one veggie risotto. Huh, okay. <laughs> I love, I, don't get me wrong, guys. I fucking love steak, but I'm wicked curious about this one dish that they have. Uh, that the thing I like most is exclusivity. Right. I want no one else to, to get this. I, uh, can I, I don't, say, yeah. I don't think of all the options that you can go with here, let's go ahead and blackball eating a steak. Yes, correct. One, I don't think yes. you should compromise your lifestyle for people who you work with in general. For any yeah. reason. Um, two, if you are have been a vegetarian for a long time and you decide to get back into the game with a steak, <laughs> no, yeah. you're gonna just, that's that's like pure that's pure beef, dog. That's too like, much beef. That, yeah. That's pure beef. You are not you you're you don't produce the right juices inside you anymore to handle pure beef. Beef, yeah, dude. that's like ending a water fast with a Curter burger. You just yeah, you simply do can't. Can we also, hey, listen, it's 2023. Is uh, Anno Domini 2023? We're pat, like we're at a point now where people should be like, hey, this is where we're thinking about going to dinner as a small team. Yeah. Does that work for yeah, everyone? Yeah, but it's the UK. They're posh, you know. Oh, that's true. They're that posh. They they don't point. think about people. Okay, then how about this? Like hey, it's twenty twenty three. Steakhouse more than salad. Something no, else. I have a good veggie news. risotto. Maybe have you considered yeah, veggie risotto? Uh, they. I do have good news on that front. Uh, one thing I can't. I don't normal. I don't love steak houses as a as a rule. I don't love the fetishization of like extremely expensive cuts of steak. I think a lot of it's like. Fake news a little bit. I think it steak's good if you cut it. Steak news. I don't know. Steak news a little bit. Um, but I'll hear what I will say about they're going to have some fucking primo croutons. This is uh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> no exaggeration. Travis has been to many steak houses, and I'm pretty sure he agrees with me. The yeah, croutons true. they have at this place are going to absolutely kick your ass. Yeah. Yeah. And also, they know how to make vegetables taste delicious in a way where they're almost meat. Where it's like, yeah. we took asparagus, but don't worry. We soaked it in butter and put yeah. a bunch of different shit on it. You won't even know it's asparagus. This is don't not gonna, worry. This is not, unless it's some sort of weird, you know, there's that, uh, the, the weird militant places about toppings. There's that uh, hot dog place that used to be open in Fairmont that had a big uh, no ketchup sign printed on the pavement outside. Uh, up in West Virginia, they had a big no ketchup sign printed on the pavement outside, so you would know that you cannot get ketchup on a hot dog at this establishment. Is a rule. I don't think the uh, the place is going to be like that. I think they're going to be like, oh yeah, we've uh, we've heard about this before yeah. in the past fifty years. Yeah, yeah it would be wild if they were like, you're actually the first person we've ever heard of. That yeah. Say it again. You don't eat meat. Do you drink it? What do you mean? Uh, um, you another option is you could order a big steak but also order a salad and eat lots of rolls. And then when the steak shows up, be like, Ugh. ah, fuck, I all filled up. Ah, man, I wish I hadn't filled up on all the salad and rolls. And if the salad and rolls aren't enough to fill you up, beforehand, you're going to want to get like your consigliere to hide a, a, a vegetable risotto in the tank of that, the toilet. So that'll be great. So they bring, let me get this straight, Griff. They bring the steak and then you're like, oh, too full. And then at that moment, the ghost of the cow is like, perfect. This is, <laughs> okay, this is no, just what I, this is just what I hope for. Put you know they the can't cut a piece and then walk away and leave me for the rest, right? Like, I gotta die okay, for well, Then you need to tell the, tell the, the server, to bring it covered in a, bring an empty plate covered in a cloche 
And then when it shows up, you pull up the closure. If you can have them put a little bit of steam under there for you, and you hide it like you're playing uh, Texas Hold'em and just kind of open the closure and look under it and be like, mm, fuck, that looks really good, but I am just too full. <laughs> and then you have them take it away. No yes. one's That's Okay, perfect. you yummy down and on your salad. And then you go salad. eat your toilet risotto yeah. in silence. You yummy down on your rolls and your lettuce. The steak's yeah. sitting there untouched. Somebody's like, aren't you going to eat your steak? And you say, oh, that was for the table. I got that for the okay. table. That's a table steak. That's well, a no, table that's steak. A, that's not going to do it because they're going to know that you didn't eat your steak. And Hey, you never uh, can I talk to the chef for a second? Could you get a piece of like sourdough bread and just like soak it in chocolate sauce and then Ooh. bring it out on a plate for me? And I'll like cut into it and be like, cook perfectly. <laughs> I love this. Bring this maybe a great. glossy JPEG on a plate of a steak mm-hmm. and just say, like, I owe you one steak. Do you, you have, have a like 3D printer? Out. Could you 3D yeah. print me a steak, please? I'd you could it. cut up little pieces of your steak and keep hiding it on the plates of your coworkers. Oh, yeah, like in Shawshank Redemption. Just like in Shawshank Redemption. Exactly like Travis. in Shawshank Redemption. I'm at my aunt's house to visit her and my grandfather, and when I walked into the house, I took my shoes off. I live in a no-shoes house, so this is just what I do when I walk into someone's home. However, just say a house. You live in a house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> house, yes. I have a shoes house. I don't care. I don't You've never fucking said house. that to me before. Well, you yeah, just take them take off. You're very off. polite. You're I'm just telling me this whole time I could have been rocking my off-court buddies in your house and living the life Now of that I say it, I don't think I actually am. I think yeah, I you are not. No, I'm not. I, I, But I'm not like weird about it, right? I'm not like, take your shoes off. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna be like, take That's your shoes off. Thing. Here's what I hate, and to sorry, we'll finish this question someday, but I hate when someone walks in my house like, should I take my shoes off? In my heart, the answer is, it's a house. Yeah, so, please. Yeah, Why are they making where you, all the dirt is. Yeah, why are they making you the weirdo, right? Yeah, like, let me look by the front door. What's there? That's a bunch of fucking shoes. We have so many so, shoes here. It seems like maybe you could follow the, follow the clues. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Take your shoes off. This is a house where we live. What I would rather risk taking my shoes off and having them go, no, please leave them on, because now I'm not the weird one at all. When the two of you guys are living with me for the holidays, I just resign myself that I'm always going to be cleaning up just constantly, because you two okay. pigs, you monsters, are just going hog wild, putting your That's shoes That's called here, having guests. Putting your shoes on the floor, you put your shoes wherever you please, right there on the closet. I've also, you know what I think part of the problem with this question is? Is that I have you five, haven't finished it? No, <laughs> I, I'm a five year old. So my standards for human behavior are lowered so much. The idea yeah. that someone would take their shoes off in my home feels like mm. too good for me. <laughs> like I don't, I'm not. Let used alone to that take kind them of... off at the same location. Oh, oh the dream. Just not pick... shoes. Dead drops located throughout the first <laughs> just, floor of the home. Yeah, just do like my kids. If you could just pick, take them off your feet and throw them at the wall in different, <laughs> very different places, that would be perfect. Maybe right. one's throw in the, the bathroom. Maybe one's on the back porch. I don't right. know, man. That'd be just great. throw them both up into the ceiling fan, and then oh. let God decide. And when you can't find them later, make sure you get fucking furious with me. Yeah. <laughs> and just then suggest to wear the shoes that are two sizes too small and covered in glitter. You. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. And good. if you would cry, uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, really uh, make it my problem. However, I've been in here for a while now and everyone else has their shoes on, including my aunt and her husband. Do I put my shoes back on? I'm worried they'll make people think I'm getting ready to leave and no one has mentioned that I'm shoeless, but I'm starting to feel a bit awkward. That's from wrong-footed in Harrisburg. We oh. must assume, we must assume a baseline level of socks. Yes? We yes. Because the, the trajectory of this question changes so much from yeah, no I'm one's the only the socks wearing person versus my stinky, dirty feet, <laughs> my nasty little guys. <laughs> yes. my, my, my little piggies are out and a wiggling. Unless you're fresh out of the pool and you just kicked off your flip flops. Then everybody, it's weird that everybody else is doing. Yeah, it. Travis, if you're showering too, like, what are okay. you talking about? Here's like, what yeah. you do: one shoe at a time, back on. You got to space it out. No one's yeah. gonna think you're leaving with only one shoe on. That's true. And then twenty That's minutes later, you put the second shoe on. Yeah. Then, as far as they remember, you've always had shoes on. That will work. That will. That will work. <laughs> I'm the not Sandella so sure. effect. It's like sandals. <laughs> Nah. Uh, nah. That nah. won't work. That won't work. <laughs> that <Okay>. didn't work. <laughs> yeah. 
What about um, okay? I'm gonna give you guys. I want to give you guys some scenarios, and I need oh. you to tell me shoes or no shoes. Okay. 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 You enter a uh, you enter a uh, party at a friend's house. Okay. How big a party? How many people? There's 20 people at the party. Shoes on. <laughs> okay. No. 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 Wait. No. Wait. There's five people at the party. Shoes off. Shoes That's off. weird, right? That well, doesn't make sense. But yes, I agree with issue. you. 20 people. That's a lot of feet. That's yeah. 40 feet, probably. I'm but guessing the floor it's is the a... floor, and the feet are the feet, and outside's the outside. Where where did we just say, like, it's going to be fucking dirty? <laughs> it just yeah. is. I, I can't yeah. police all you people. Just well, wear them. Yeah. But I also assume 20, a certain heightened level of, like, occasion, right? Yeah. Where if I looked over and dude's okay. in, like, a three-piece suit and dress socks but no shoes... Yes. I assume that they're inebriated. Well, if there's 20 people over to watch the big game. Shoes on. Shoes it doesn't on. matter. It's 20 people, Travis. Justin, that's probably around 40 shoes. Where are you going to put those? Where do those go? Where do those go? In the big shoe sack, and then you shake it up blade and you pull one out, and that's who you go home with, Griffin. Those are the rules. I don't make them up. Okay, now I need you guys to answer this next series. Don't overthink it. Just answer. Okay. 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 You're on a plane. Yes. Shoes on. Shoes on, Jesus I'm, Christ! I'm, I'm going to keep you you qualifiers. You're on oh, a plane. sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, you're on a plane, and it's a uh, cross the transatlantic flight. It's like eight hours. Okay, shoes on. Who am I sitting? Oh, no, I need so many more fucking. Yeah, details. Th- th- like there's route. qualifiers that would change it. If I'm in, if I if I'm fucking three deep in the window, and I have two trusted associates in the in the seats next to me, if I'm if I am buffered. From the rest of the plane by two people who I love and who love me, shoes off. Okay. That's the only situation. If I, I see, no. If they have taken pity on me and said like, hey, you seem like a special boy and we've upgraded you to those seats that turn into beds, shoes cool. off. If I'm yeah. sitting like cattle, uh, if I am one of the chickens in an Indiana Jones-esque airplane with other people around me, I have yeah. double shoes on if I could. I would yeah. put shoes on and I would bag them like hands. I'm going to a CSI location. <laughs> yeah, when it's a bed situation, then the rules of bed override the rules of, of plane. The rules of bed are pretty firmly no shoes. I can't think of a situation where bed shoes is appropriate or acceptable. Okay, I would um, also say if a lengthy enough, like an eight hour flight, right, there's a time at which the existence of we're all on a plane together becomes like we're stuck in limbo together. And then yeah. as you get nearer to landing, you're like, wait, what is how ha- I gotta pull myself back from this. Yeah, it is it is reality starts to set in, right? You're kind of in a liminal space. And then right. as you're landing, you're like, well, they can't see me with my shoes off now. Right. Earlier it was fine. Now I'm let me let me let me add one more twist to the mix. Okay. Are you rocking some big stinky honkers down there? Because if that's the case I would prefer you keep your shoes on. I think if because you of the steps, size of their feet. Nah, it's not about the size of the feet. I'm talking. The, uh, sorry, stinky honkers more is a modifier of the smell coming out of it, not like big, big feet. Okay, um, okay. If the feet smell bad, a pungent aroma. Th- yeah, I think stinky feet also sort of overrides bed shoes rules of like even if you're in bed, if you're surrounded by uh, uh you know, two hundred people in an enclosed. Space. If you're in an enclosed bed controlled. with 200 people, keep your shoes on. <laughs> keep your fucking shoes on. If you're, if it's a bad scent in there. Uh, fair enough. This all seems very. Fair. I will also and say this though. The fact of the matter is, no one's ever taken their shoes off, and someone else has said thank you on an airplane. That's never happened. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. You have never thought. God, I wish this guy next to me would take his shoes off. Yeah, it's <laughs> not like that. Is, whether you decide to or not, no one's relieved. No, yeah. I'm pretty hey. sure if you do say that out loud, the air marshal will just do it. <laughs> hey, you know, what you could you. do, elbow the guy next to you and be like, hey, we need to do this at the same time. Neither hey, one cool? of us is going to be the first one to do it. Yeah. But I yeah. can tell we've been on this plane for hours now. We're both ready to go to sleep. I don't know you. You don't know me. It's the equivalent yeah. of like the Hitchcock movie where it's like, I'll kill your wife, you kill my wife. Except it's like, we're yeah. going to take our shoes off at the same time so we can't judge each other. And then people yeah. will assume... We know something they don't. Everyone Screw that, man. Shoes off. Go up to the pilot, grab the radio, say, what's up, everyone? Is Griffin over in 13E. What's up, Trap Nation? I've been, <laughs> what what's up, Trap Nation? It's Griffin over in 13E. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I want to pop my shoes off. 
I do not have big stinking honkers. You guys see money here. plane? So you have just kind of like money plane, except bare feet go, baby. So Griffin, yeah. yeah I, just so I'm clear, you have a, prior to this come to the flight attendant and say, "Hi, I need to make an announcement. It's a normal thing. <laughs> it's yeah. nothing. I, I need you to let me in there, but it's normal. I need access to the cockpit and the pilots during the flight. <laughs> but trust me." I'm cool. Only because I'm worried they'll try to override it. So I need to go in there and use their microphone because I know they have one. It's so about like shoes, a thing that's never concerned airplanes ever. Yeah, it's no, no big deal. I would say... I, I just need like to give instructions to a bunch of the people on right. the plane right now. So that now. we do something simultaneously. Right. Can I take my shoes off? <laughs> Then they'll be so relieved that that's what it was that they're like, oh yeah, asked, make the announcement. I should have yeah. asked first. I should have asked first. But then there, if you say that, then the flight attendant's gonna be like, well, you got to ask everyone else. Be like, Can you use your microphone? They'll be like, no, go, agree. you go person by person, like how they do it at the exit row. Just walk down row by row. Like I need a verbal confirmation that if, if I take off my shoes, you guys are gonna take off your shoes. Well, during you know the safety do, briefing, actually? you just stand up and you go, and just to let, it, sorry to interrupt, just to let everyone know, about an hour and a half in, I'm gonna take my shoes off. So if you guys wanna take your shoes off, yeah. it's cool. It you says, can go back it to says the here. Belt. It says here on the safety card to take your shoes off and that's in there to be safe for the plane. Do you so know everyone they should, go, I man, it is too late in the show to have such a good episode, a good, such a good idea. But no, listen. 40 and slip. Finally, yeah. we pulled it out. <laughs> too, We're getting too, it together. It's too late in the show to have such a good idea. You should be, you know, the, the seats have the screens in front yeah. of them uh, on most planes. You got the screens. You should be able to, at any point during the flight, summon a tribunal. <gasps> okay. and, you, and you should be able to say like, push a button, I'm so, I'm I'm commencing a shoe tribunal, and then everybody yeah, gets yeah. a Hold notification. The plane. Like the yeah. whole plane is like yes or no. We're voting now, and you can change other policies on like double pretzels, right? When they yeah. come around, like yeah. we all want double pretzels. <laughs> we agreed on it. We what if we all watch the plane? same movie? Do you guys want to watch the same movie and talk about it while it's going on? <laughs> we We're all going to do it anyways, right? Let's watch the marvelous Burt Wonderstone and discuss it as it goes, like a book club. We just voted as a plane. We're going to New Orleans for fun. <laughs> we want to dip me. closer to the Grand Canyon. Get as close hey, as you can. We all voted to do a wiggle and do it. <laughs> ah, race that bird. Race that bird. Tell the captain to race that bird and bring me that. Bring me that horizon. Go tell him. Go tell uh, him the captain. Yeah, that. captain. I'm sorry. They all voted and they want to quote do a solly. So. Yeah. Um, they said they want to sully that whole conflagration of Starlink. They said they want a sully impression from you now, or they'll too nervous to fly. Yeah. It says <laughs> they here need to feel that out, Can we go outside the atmosphere? And I told them the answer was no, <laughs> but that I'd ask. One kid wrote, touch the stars, and that that vote that was voted down. They it, was not, it, was it was unanimous. It was unanimous. <laughs> touch the stars. Hey, thanks so much for listening to our podcast. We hope you've enjoyed yourself. A reminder that the Candle Nights season is, at least upon us over here, we are uh, busting our humps to finish up this year's uh, Candle Nights special presentation for you. How can, how can people see that if they want to, though? It is for public consumption, right? They can go to bit.ly slash Candle Nights 2023. That's Candle Nights 2023. Speaking of public consumption, we got merch. It's a Hell new yes, month. We do. So make sure you check out that Death Blart t-shirt by Cat Turvo. It's fucking um, amazing. And we've also got a Death Blart poster by Simone Mariano. We've got Hunger Dice designed by Evelyn uh, using Die Hard Dice's Avalor mold. We've they, got- These have been in the works for such a long time. Yeah, they're they so freaking good. Absolutely jaw-droppingly gorgeous. I think I got one of these Blart t-shirts. They're dice. really cool. We've got rainbow plated metal Bureau of Balance keychain, which is glorious and beautiful. And we've got pedals to the metal book bundle with Garrel and pedals to the metal. What are you waiting for? Go check it out. Uh, and right now we got a sale going on through January 1st. That's 30% off all apparel, 20% off all other items. Buy five shirts, get a free backpack. There's also a discount on all past Candle Nights merch. 10% of all merch proceeds this month go to Harmony House, which seeks to end homelessness in the Huntington area through permanent housing and supportive service programs. So go to McElroyMerch.com and check all that out. Uh, also, right now, the Steeplechase theme song is available for purchase on Griffin's Bandcamp page. Proceeds from all his Bandcamp sales from now until the end of the year will be donated to the Palestinian Children's Fund and will be matching the donation. 
And if you haven't yet, go check out theadventure.quest. It's an immersive RPG weekend at Ravenwood Castle in Hocking Hills, Ohio. And a big announcement about Adventure Quest. Tickets are going to be going on sale uh, this Friday, uh, December 8th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So that'll be uh, 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific time and everywhere in between. And a second big announcement, we've partnered with I Need Diverse Games, uh, and I Need Diverse Games is going to be sponsoring two scholarship packages, which could be applied for at the same time uh, that, that tickets go on sale. You can get all the information uh, by going to theadventure.quest and figuring out everything there, and we're super excited about it. This Friday, don't miss it. Uh, it's going to be super fun. You get all the details at theadventure.quest. Thanks to Montaigne for the use of our theme song, My Life is Better With You. Uh, it gets me in the Candle Night spirit when I listen to it, unlike anything else. Um, I'm so full up. I'm so full up of this song. I'm so full up. Should we bathe? Yes, let's bathe together. My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm, I'm Griffin, Griffin McElroy. <laughs> what just happened? You just said the your fuck? name over yours. I was thinking about how you were going to say it, and I just said it. My name is Justin McElroy. No, nope. you, no, in the show, you did it. My you name did is did. Justin McElroy. My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Justin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad. Square on the lips. Maximum Fun, a worker-owned network of artist-owned shows, supported directly by you.